Hello all, welcome to part 37 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to partially pass the data from a data provider method to the test method using indices attribute. Okay, what is this indices attribute and how does it help us in partially passing the data from a data provider method to a test method? in test ng so let's get started so guys so let's say till now guys uh, we were passing the data from a data provider method to the test method and the complete sets of data are being passed but what if you decide to pass only few sets of data not all data you want to pass okay you want to pass only partial uh, partial sets of data from the data provider method to the test method based on your real time. What is the purpose? I'll at the, at the end, I'll explain, okay? Why we have to pa pass the partial data, I'll explain at the end, guys, okay? But for now, understand, understand that a data provider completely passes the data. Whatever the data the data provider has, it will call the test method for every, every time it will call the test method, it will pass the data. What, how many sets of data are there in the data provider? That many times the test method will be called, right? But with the help of this indices attribute, okay, we have to use this indices attribute with a data provider annotation of the method, okay, beside the at the rate data provider annotation in circular brackets, we can use this indices attribute like this, guys. As you can see here, at the rate data provider indices is equal to some, okay, array of some numbers, okay, these are indexes, okay, of the data that need to be partially passed to the test method, okay. How to partially pass the data to the test method from a data provider using indices attribute is something I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session. And I'll explain the purpose after demonstration, okay? Let's go to this Eclipse ID, guys. I'll create a sample class known as demo class. I'll create a sample class known as a demo class and uh, click on finish button. And uh, inside this demo class, I'll create a method, guys, that is a public wide sample test, sample test method. And here I'll provide at the rate test, at the rate test annotation, I'll provide at the rate test annotation for the modes on at the rate test and import this, uh, this will become a test method, okay? So let's say it will receive one, uh, okay, one parameter, okay? I have parameterized this test method already and whatever the data that will be received, I will be printing like this, okay? Now let me create a data provider, guys, public wide. Okay, data supplier, I'll call this name of the method. You can call this as any name. You can give any name. I'm just giving data supplier and I will annotate this data provider annotation over the mouse and import this data provider from test ng. Now, here I'll create an object array. I'll say data and here I'll provide the shortcut representation of the object array and here I'll pass the data. That is Arun, then Varun, then Third set of data is Tarun. Fourth set of data is, okay, Kishore. Fifth set of data is Ravi. Seventh set of data is Gopal. Okay, like this, multiple sets of data you have here, okay? Arun is the first set of data. So if I don't use that indices, what will happen? Let's see first. I'll simply return the data, guys. And here object array should be mentioned. Okay, object array should be mentioned. And this particular, each and every set of data will be passed to this test method. So this test method will be called how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six times. Six times and every time it will print the data that is being passed to the test method. Let's see whether it is working fine or not. Okay, I have not used indices where I have to partially pass the data. All data I am passing. Okay, there is a problem here. What is the problem? Sample with, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, there is a problem, guys. Okay, I didn't connect the test method with the data provider. Okay, in a hurry, I didn't connect. I'll just give the name to this uh, data provider that is supplier, I'll say. And here, I have to use annotation known as data provider annotation and uh, give the name of the data provider name that is supplier here. Okay, that's the best way. Now, after connecting this test method with the data provider, then only the data provider will pass the data to the test method and test method will be running six times. Each time it will be passing each and every six uh, sets of data here that are available. Now run this, this time it should work. You should not get the exception. You see, all the data has been printed one by one. Arun, Varun, Tarun, Kishore, Ravi, Gopal, okay? And if you see this uh, test engine, you see sample test has been executed how many times? Six times because 
there are six sets of data but if you got a, a situation where you want to partially pass the data you don't want to pass all this data for each and every set of data here you don't want to call the test method then you can use something known as an attribute known as indices attribute indices is equal to okay in curly braces you provide the indexes for example i want to pass arun okay zero after that i want to pass one two three kishore i want to pass three i want to pass then i don't want to pass anything only zero and three that is arun should be passed kishore should be passed remaining all data should not be passed only partial data i want to pass then i can use this attribute known as indices attribute guys so which will restrict the remaining uh, data which are available at the other indexes which are not specified here only the zeroth index and third index will be passed here okay now run this only arun and kishore will be printed only arun and kishore got printed guys this sample test method got only called two times okay that is arun and with kishore data so but what is the purpose why we are restricting the da complete data from being passed to the data provided to the test method and why we are partially passing the data to the test method the purpose is something different guys okay so there may be some situations in real time where you want to investigate some data for example uh, this data that i mentioned right arun and kishore when i pass this arun and kishore this test method is not working properly i want to investigate okay there are hundreds of sets of data but arun and kishore uh, out of this hundreds of sets of data are not working then i cannot run all the hundreds sets of data to investigate the problem right i just need to pass arun and kishore only okay i just need to pass this uh, data through which this test method is failing what is the reason behind the failure of this particular test method that i can only investigate and find out when i pass the data through which this test particular test method is failing in such cases you can use indices and pass the data that is actually causing the test method to fail via which you can avoid the data that is actually passing the test okay our our purpose is to investigate the failed data out of the large amounts or large sets of data passed from the data provider method that's where the concept of indices attribute comes comes guys okay in real time in realistic situations there may be some situation where you are passing good number of data from the data provider method but uh, one or two sets of data from that the complete data of the data provider is not working properly with the test method you want to find out figure out okay so there you sh should not be deleting the existing data and uh, you should not be changing this data right uh, put by removing this varun tarun ravi gopal and then only working out with arun kishore it is not a good approach okay so we have the concept of indices where without deleting the data we can restrict the data from being sent only the data that through which the test method is failing we can pass with or we can allow with the help of this indices attribute in test ng okay so hope guys you understood why we have to partially pass the data from the data provider method using indices attribute and how to do that okay using indices attribute in test ng so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye